Hey, how's it going? This is Ed. If you want to have a solid emulation experience on a Steam Deck, the standalone emulator is the way to go. In this video, I will show you how to set up a standalone PS3 emulator on the deck. When using the standalone emulator, we will still be able to launch any PS3 games from the Steam Deck's gaming mode, just like a normal Steam PC game. The benefit of using a standalone emulator versus EmuDeck is pretty obvious. You just don't have to deal with EmuDeck anymore. That means no more issues caused by EmuDeck updates for you. I can't deny the EmuDeck is great most of the time, but their recent updates were horrible. There is a lot of stuff got messed up in their recent updates. For the standalone emulator, you will only need to set it up once, then it will last forever on your deck. The only downside when using a standalone emulator is that you have to set up each emulator by yourself. Likely, this process is pretty easy to do. I will creating a series of standalone emulator videos on this channel. If you want to switch from EmuDeck to standalone emulators, make sure to stay tuned with this channel. In every standalone emulator video, I will show you how to transfer game save files from EmuDeck to the standalone emulator so you can keep all your game save files. Let's start by getting the PS3 standalone emulator on your Steam Deck first. Ok, first let's create a PS3 emulation folder. You can create this folder on your internal SSD or on the SD card. Here I will create the PS3 emulation folder on my SD card. Also you can name this folder anything you like. Here I will just name it as PS3 emulation. The next thing we are going to do is to download the RPC S3 PS3 emulator. So use your internet browser and go to the RPC S3 official website. Click download from the top menu. Then go to the Linux section and click download from here. The PS3 emulator RPC S3 should be downloaded just in a few seconds. Then we need to go to the PlayStation website and download the PS3 system software update. So move down on this page and click update using a computer. Then click download PS3 update. So just make sure you click allow download from the top right corner. It will take about 20 to 30 seconds to download the PS3 system update. By the way, I have both websites linked under this video description. Once we have the emulator and the PS3 update file downloaded, now we can close the internet browser. Then let's go to our downloads folder. Now we should have two files we just downloaded. Now let's move the RPC S3 app image file into our PS3 emulation folder that we created in the first step. So just paste the RPC S3 app image into this folder. Then double click and open up the PS3 emulator. Click continue on this pop-up message. Here I will just use the dark theme. I think it just looks better on the Steam Deck. Then click continue. Next, go to File from the top menu. Then select Install Firmware. Next, navigate to the Downloads folder and select the PS3 system update file we just downloaded. So select the PS3 update file. Then click Open. Now the PS3 firmware installation started. Once you get this window, just click OK. The overall installation will take about 3 to 5 minutes. After the installation is complete, I suggest you to close the emulator and just reopen it again. Next, we are going to set up the controller so the Steam Deck building controller will work for all the PS3 games. Let's go to the top and click on the configuration, then select pads. Under player 1, switch the keyboard to SDL. Then on the right, under the device, it should show Steam Virtual Game Pad 1. Then click save. Now we have complete the controller setup. Then let's set up the file path so we can store all our games into a certain location. So go to manage on the top menu. Then select virtual file system. Under the first tab, emulator DIR. Then click on the plus icon on the bottom right corner. Then navigate to the location where the PS3 emulation folder was created at the beginning of this video. 
If your PS3 emulation folder was created on your SD card, you can just follow what I am doing here. After you locate your PS3 emulation folder, just go inside the folder and then click the Choose button. Now we will see the PS3 emulation pass is show up here. Then click on the Save button. Now if we go back to our PS3 emulation folder, we should see some new folders have been created under the PS3 emulation folder. This is what we expected. Now let's go back to the emulator and we will install some PS3 games into the emulator. There are two types PS3 game ROMs. The first type is PKG format. The PKG format need to be installed. So let's start with the PKG format first. So here I will just quickly reorganize my window. On the left side is our PS3 emulator. On the right side it's my external hard drive. I have all my PS3 game ROMs are stored on this external hard drive, so that's why I am installing or copying the files from the external hard drive. But you don't have to do this. You can actually use the Steam Deck to download the game directly. But I am not able to show you where to get the game ROMs because they are copyrighted. But I'm pretty sure you will find it somewhere pretty easily. Okay, now I will just start installing the PKG file. So all you need to do is drag the PKG file into the RPCS3 and then you will get this message. Just click yes. The PKG installation usually will take about 5 to 10 minutes. After the installation is complete, now you will get this window. Just click OK here. If it's the PKG format, it usually has the wrap file. Make sure you drag the wrap file into the emulator too. Nothing will show up, that's normal. Just remember installing the wrap file. Without wrap file, the PKG cannot be played. Now if we go back to our PS3 emulation folder, go to HDD0, then go inside the game folder. This is the location where the PKG games are installed. Then I will just go back to our PS3 emulation folder. Next, I am going to copy the second type PS3 game ROMs. The second type is ISO, it's also called the folder type. If you are not familiar with PS3 game ROMs, you can check out this video on my channel. I explained very detailed for different type of PS3 game ROMs. Okay, on the right side, I have this folder type PS3 game ROM. I will copy this PS3 game ROM from my external hard drive into my Steam Deck SD card. So just make sure you copy the folder type game into the PS3 emulation games folder. Once the game ROM are copied over, then we can click the refresh button inside the PS3 emulator. The PS3 game that we just copied over should be detected under the game list. There is a great feature with the PS3 emulator is the game patch file. The game patch file can improve the gaming performance, so it's quite useful. So to apply the game patch, select the game, then right click and select manage game patches. Then click download the latest patch from the bottom left corner. Click yes to download the patch. And click ok again. Then if we click on the game name, there are so many patches that we can check from here. So for this game here, I will check unlock FPS so I can reach 60 FPS. And also I will check skip intro video. So when you're setting up a PS3 emulation game, it's better to check out the patch file first. See if there is any performance improvement we can apply here. So at this point, we have successfully set up the PS3 emulator. And also we have added two games into the PS3 emulator. For the PKG format game, I suggest you to launch the game from desktop mode at least once. Once the game is opened, you can just close it. If you forgot doing this step, you will get this error message. Try to launch the game from Steam Deck gaming mode. So try to run the PKG game from desktop mode at least once. If you previously used the Emule Deck for your PS3 emulation, and if you want to copy the game save files into the standalone PS3 emulator, this is how to do it. So go to your emulation folder location as shown on my screen. Once you get into this location, just copy the save data folder. 
Then we need to go back to our PS3 emulation folder and paste the save data folder into the location as shown on my screen. Check apply to all and then click write into. Now you have successfully transferred the game save data from email deck into the standalone RPCS3. The final step we need to do is to adding the PS3 games into our Steam Deck gaming mode so we can launch the PS3 game just like a normal PC game. To do this, just select your game from the game list, then right click, then select create shortcut and create desktop shortcut and click OK. I will just repeat the same process for the other game. Now we should have two new desktop shortcuts on our desktop. Then select the desktop shortcut and right click, select properties. Then click on application tab. There are four percentage symbol on the arguments line. We will delete one percentage symbol here. And then delete another percentage symbol here. So make sure you don't add any extra space or deleting extra stuff here. Only delete the two percentage symbol. That's all we need to do here. Then click OK. Then right click on this game and select Add to Steam. I will repeat the same process for the other game. After the games were added into Steam, we can delete the desktop shortcut. There is no need to keep them. We can also delete the PS3 system update file. There is no need to keep this file. Then we can just switch back to the gaming mode. Then if we press the Steam button, then go to the library. Under no Steam, the PS3 game should show up here. It looks so ugly without game artwork. So let's use the Steam Deck Grid DB plugin to add some game artwork first. I'm not going to show how to use the Steam Grid DB here, it's pretty easy to do. After the game artworks are applied, now we can launch the game. It will take a while to load up the game for the first time, but when you load up the game second times, it will be faster. Yeah, the Skate 3 looks really awesome on the Steam Deck, we can play this game at 60 FPS and it's pretty solid actually. Let's close this game and move to the next game and we can just do a quick test here. This Demon's so is a PKG game. For the PKG format games, make sure you launch them at least once from the desktop mode before you start it up from Steam OS gaming mode. Otherwise, you will end up with an error message from the gaming mode. That's pretty much all for this one. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. As always, thanks for being here.